Well, for the very latest on the situation in Dharna, I'm joined now by Atia al Hassadi. You're a teaching assistant at the University of Dharna. You were there during the floods. Tell me a bit more about where you were exactly and what you remember from that time six months ago. Um, hi. So, well, uh, that night um, I was um, monitoring the uh, the storm, the Daniel storm, uh, with the uh, weather uh, broadcast, and I was in the street like 10 minutes before um, when the electricity uh, cut off. Um, um, I have to uh, I have hurried to the, the house to uh, catch the. Uh, the light flash. Uh, after that, like a second, uh, my house was um, like fully uh, filled with uh, like water and, and um, things like trees and cars hitting our house. So we, we as a family, we um, we got went up to to the stairs upstairs to the roof of our house. Um, it was really dark, but with the light of the cinder, uh, we saw ourselves like in middle of the ocean um, that night. Every every like flashlight from the tenders, uh, we saw like uh, houses just like pass away, people, bodies, cars, trees, uh, even furnitures um, in the wave of the, in the floods. It was like horrible uh, moment and many people in Darna thought this it was like that judgment day that night. Uh, Tia, as you're speaking, we can see pictures of some of that flood damage from six months ago. Uh, uh, since then, the recovery has been slow. For example, there's no internet today. That's why you're speaking to us on the phone. But tell me a bit more about the recovery you have seen in Derna six months on. Yeah, the services, like electricity, um, even the water, um, uh, when, uh, Go back to the the partial um, damaged neighborhood, but the fully damaged area still um, still damaged, and there is no any uh, construction there. But uh, for the uh, another neighborhood who affected by the flood, the cleaning um, uh, process, even the electricity, the services, the internet. Um, uh, the, the road service itself is is like is, they're working right now to rehabilitation um, all this uh, this area. So for six months, I saw uh, like Libyan companies that uh, doing reconstruction for the schools, for the clinic uh, clinics, and uh, like the the road and the uh, the uh, walk site as well. Uh, even painting the painting the houses who were affected by by the flood, I saw um, Egyptian companies uh, doing uh, re, uh, reconstruction in the bridge and the main road to to in the interest of the of the city of Derna. Uh, Atia, just very briefly before you go, tell us a bit more about how people are doing in Derna. What's their state of mind these days? Their mental health. For the mental health, this is like big issue for everyone here in Darna. Um, uh, as you know, uh, Ramadan is here, so Ramadan is, is a religious um, event, religious month. It's like a Christmas in the Christianity. So uh, many people right now missing their families, their um, their uh, people who loved them, and they um, lost them in the flood. Uh, it's like uh, complicated feelings right now. People are happy for, for Ramadan is coming, but also they're really um, sad about that people who sharing the, this holy month for years and years. Uh, mental health is still like big issue here because this is kind of um, the third thing happened in, in Darna, uh, the war, the ISIS who controlled the city for one year. And when they have done in the city, uh, the war after that. So this is like kind of the third time in the short uh, period that people uh, suffering with uh, death and suffering with um, with missing and lost um, their uh, their people and their families uh, and friends, of course. So um, 
Bibon Journal, they have seen uh, many things in, in, in just 10 years. And, uh, um, and there is like a uh, big uh, crisis with the m mental health, especially with uh, this month uh, from Ramadan.